Hi everyone, it's PJ Party Friday. I hope you're in your PJs. I think you've been in your PJs for three weeks. I'm not sure. Can you believe it? This is our third week. It's our third PJ Party Friday. I can't believe it. Today is our first, 15th, 15th time coming on. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy if you've come back and been joining us every single day. And if you're new, welcome so much. We're just going to have so much fun and be silly and and be creative. So I just want to start the show by thanking Dennis Knowles from Idea Stream. He is a producer there and he contacted me a week ago and asked if he could interview me. And I said, can you wait a minute so I can wash the mustache off my face? Because we were doing a uh, last Friday was French Friday and we were doing Paris and I drew a black mustache on my face and I didn't want to get interviewed with that but we did it through the computer he used zoom and interviewed me and created an amazing video which uh, he sent me last night and it's on the idea stream website I did post it on my Facebook page if you want to watch it I'm going to try not to get emotional but again a beautiful incredible comments that everyone is saying so I appreciate that so much and then literally two minutes before I came on here Channel 8 uh, News, a Cleveland local news channel, asked if they could post it on their uh, website. So they'd like to do a news story, uh, but today they wanted to put it on their website. So again, Dennis, thank you. Dennis found out about me on cleveland.com. Cleveland.com wrote an article on me a few weeks ago, and then Dennis read that, and then Channel 8 saw Dennis's video. So that's called the snowball effect. That's, it just you know, spreads and it's amazing. It's very touching. I'm going to not start the show by crying. So let's just jump right in. All right, you guys. So anyone can join us of any age, any ability with any supplies anywhere. Okay. Those are the rules. Anyone, anywhere, anything, anyhow, do what you want. Go with the flow. You're just going to have fun. So if you want to watch, just watch. If you want to give it a try, give it a try. I'm going to use a black marker so you can see it. I just have some computer paper here. I taped it to a board. Uh, you use whatever you have. Pencil, crayon, color pencil, marker, whatever you have. All right. Now, I'm not going to start with the flower. I'm going to start with some other things. And you just have to watch and you'll see what I'm going to do. Okay. Ooh, what do you mean? What do you mean? That's not part of the plan. You want me to do a flower? I'll do a flower in a minute. First, I want to just do a little silly. Oh, wait, I forgot. Warm up your hands. Get them ready. All right. So let's start with a basic shape, like an oval shape, or it could be brown. I'm going to go down to a point and up and out. And a half a circle and a half a circle. And a line like that and a line like that. A baby circle here and a baby circle here and a dot and a dot. Hmm, do you know what I'm doing? Can you tell what it is? You got it now? Can you figure it out? Why would I be doing a bee today? Well, bees like flowers. So I just thought we would practice some silly things that if you want to add to your flower, you can add it. If you just want to do a bee, you can do a bee. If you don't want to do anything, you don't have to. All right, so let's let's do another one. Circle, bigger body. This one's gonna go in a different direction. Some antennas. Can yours be different? Sure. I'm just giving you different ideas of how you could do it. A little smile. Let's give this one some cheeks. This one's got his eyes closed. Happy little bumblebees. I was going to tell you guys a funny story about bumblebees. I was, I was looking for beautiful rocks for my yard. You know where I'm going with this, Darcy? And I was picking up rocks. I had no idea that bees have beehives 
in the ground under rocks, but they do because it's cool in there. So guess what I did? I was picking up this beautiful rock and my hand went into a beehive and it was like the cartoons. I was running around the parking lot and all the bees were chasing me. I don't even think I got stung, but it's a story I will remember forever. And I never picked rocks again. Now these were not little pebble rocks. These were big rocks. And again, I just put my hand in the dirt and out came a bunch of bees. They weren't this cute. And I'm sure I wasn't cute running from them either. But again, one of our funny stories. So, all right, so there's a couple of bumblebees. If you wanna add them later, and then I'm gonna do something else down here. This is gonna be a different bug. I'm not a fan of bugs, but if they're cute, okay, I can deal with it. All right, so let's start with a big circle. Does it have to be perfect? No. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line down the middle. I'm gonna do a half a circle for the head. Give them some antennas. I'm gonna do a circle here, and a circle here, and a circle here, and a circle here. Half a circle, half a circle. How about some, some little legs? There's some little legs for you. You can give them eyeballs, so we have a little ladybug. Okay, ladybugs are cute. I like ladybugs. I can deal with those yellow ones. I think they bite, but I like red ladybugs. You can make your ladybug any color you want to. So there's a couple of ideas. Again, so what I did yesterday was I went back into my uh, bunny, and I added flowers, and I added a bumblebee by the flowers. So what I want you guys to think of is I don't want you just to be here with me for an hour and then be done. I want you to keep developing your artwork on your own, go back to it, add to it, okay, change it. You could, oh, even if you don't like it, do something to it to fix it. What can you do to fix it? You could also cut things out of paper. You could cut little bumblebees out of paper and glue it on your painting. So you guys be creative and come up with different ideas. All right, so let's practice our flower. Okie doke. It's really easy. Today's, today's might be the easiest thing we've done this whole time, but it's still really cute and very appropriate. So I'm just going to draw a vertical line. And then I'm going to do a bunch of little wispy lines coming out of it. They're going to be overlapping. Overlapping is like when they crisscross and go over each other because that makes it look fluffier. That's pretty easy, right? Super easy. You can put little dots at the end. You could put, this is a practice, you could put wish. Oops, so let's make this into one of those things like it's flying off of the blow flower. So what are those flowers called? Blow flower, puffy flower, I call them wish flower or blow flower. I love them. They're dandelions, those beautifully rich, golden yellow flowers that come up in the grass. I wonder why people don't like them in their yard. I know people like a perfectly green grass, but those flowers are beautiful. Why are they called dandelions? Are they dandy? Are they a lion? Are they part of the lion family? Do you wonder those things? Because I wonder those things. Who named it dandelion? I think they're dandy because they're so beautiful. The color of a dandelion is amazing. I'm pretty sure they're not part of the lion family, but I do know they're part of the sunflower family. So that's pretty interesting. They're very hardy, as we know, because people don't like them and want to get rid of them. And But they're a beautiful flower. So again, who decided that dandelions were weeds? They're not an invasive species. Invasive species are things that are not native to the area and they hurt other things, but dandelions don't. They're pretty, pretty. They're pretty. I like dandelions. So we're going to do that today. And again, after they're yellow, then they turn into this puffy wish flower, which I love. Sometimes I blow it and it makes me sneeze, but I always blow one with a wish. So, and then they, what happens is those seeds fly away and go wherever. And then your wish gets planted into the ground somewhere else and out sprouts another one. All right. So that's enough for talking for right now. So we are going to do, I'm doing a canvas today, you guys, with paint. I'm gonna do my canvas. The setup is portrait or vertical. Just to, I use 16 by 20, I'm gonna use acrylic paint. I want you guys to use whatever you have. Now, if you're not gonna paint the background or you're gonna color the background, you can color the whole background first and then add your blow flowers later. That's what I'm gonna do. Or you could do your flowers now and then color around it. 
You guys, if you've been here for three weeks, you know the routine. You are going to do what you want to do. But before we sit so quiet, and if you haven't been here before, I can't play music, but I love music. Music puts me in a good mood, depending on the song that I pick. Sometimes I play, you know, sad music. If I just feel like I need a good cry, I'll put something on. I'll cry. I'll get it out of my system. But mostly I like to play fun music that makes me dance. So today, Alexa. Play Stevie Wonder, I Wonder. So I don't have an Alexa, so I'm going to dance to the quiet. One of my favorite songs, one of my favorite artists, Stevie Wonder. That will get you dancing. If you don't have an Alexa, but you have a way to play music, play I Wonder by Stevie Wonder. It's perfect. Stevie Wonder, and he, I Wonder. I mean, that's pretty amazing. All right, let's pay. So painting makes me feel very relaxed. It's more about the process than the product. That means it's more about the painting than how it's going to turn out. All right, you ready to jump in? So let's just start. I'm going to go from light to darker. So to me, if I looked at this canvas and I looked at the colors, I would say white is no color at all, but I'm going to do the flowers later. So in my background, yellow is the lightest. And what makes this painting so pretty are the brush strokes. So I'm going to use a square paintbrush that is called a flat paintbrush. And again, if you have one flat and one round, that's perfect. If you only have one brush, that's fine too. I just, can you see that? I just don't want to take all day. I want you guys to be able to come on the screen in a little bit, share your stuff. You guys are awesome. I love seeing you. That's the best part to me. So I'm going to take that flat square brush and I'm just going to start putting my yellow on. Do you have to use yellow? No. You could do red. You could do purple. You guys use the color. If you love a certain color, use the colors that you love. That's why I don't want to give you a supply list. I don't want to tell you what colors to use. Just remember that you have to have contrast. Contrast is the difference you know, so that you have a strong difference. If I didn't add other color to this yellow, the white won't show up as much as it does on the dark color. So because my flowers are made with white and black, it can't be too light or too dark or neither one of those things would show up. So it has to be somewhere in between, somewhere in the middle. So maybe I'll put some green in there. It's a light green. So I'm doing yellow. I'm kind of using crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. And again, I just love seeing the brush stroke. Oh, I have balloons up for PJ Party Friday, but can you see those brush strokes from, that's what I love. That's what I think makes this painting interesting are all those brush strokes. Do it whatever, just think spring, whatever you think, spring colors, wish colors. If you're making it for your papa or your grandma or your mom, think of the colors that they like. If you're making it for your bedroom or your house or your kitchen and you want to match it, that's great. So again, just keep going. Crisscross, crisscross. They call it, sometimes they call it cross hatching. I just want you to fill up the background. I'm going to try, so that's a pretty bright green. I love this. It's a neon green. But I'm going to add a little bit of a darker green because I think it's a little bit harder to see on the screen. Can you hear that? That's me banging with my bottle. Okay, so acrylic paint comes in different bodies. That means there's light body, there's medium body, there's heavy body. And a lot of the times I use a heavy bodied acrylic. If I was doing this on camera with you and I had my canvas up like this and I used a light bodied acrylic, it would drip. So the reason why you heard that banging was it's a heavy bodied acrylic and so I have to kind of bang it out of the bottle. So I just added a little bit of a deeper green, but I don't want to go too much in the middle with this because then you won't see the black of the flower. And you guys, we're going to do a lot of kids on the screens and adults. Anybody that wants to come on, come on. And 
I'll just remind you, you I want you to put all the other devices, all your electronics away from whatever device you're watching this on, because I think that adds to the sound, those sound effects. Also keep your volume on, but turn it down. So don't have it up too loud, because again, it is on a delay. And when you come on, if we can hear the old video, then it's hard to hear you. So turn down the volume, but keep, don't mute it. Take out your earbuds if you have earbuds in. Close all the extra tabs. If you have a bunch of tabs open on your computer, close them. And then, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump into some blue. I haven't washed my brush. I forgot to get water. So I'm gonna just jump in. It doesn't matter if you feel better. Washing off your brush, go ahead. I know I go fast. This is super easy. You do not have to keep up with me. You can do it later. So again, I've done this many, many times. Do I have to have two flowers? No. Could you do one big giant blow flower? Absolutely. Could you do one representing each person in your family? Yes. If you want to do five blow flowers, do five. I think I'm going to do three on this one. I like to make my paintings a little bit different so I don't have a hundred of the same painting. So as I'm filling up the light blue, again, I can go back into it with some green or some yellow and overlap it. So you see right there, there's like a really strong separation. So watch, I'll just go back in with some yellow. I didn't wash my brush. And I'm just overlapping it to blend it together so that it's just not a division. You want it to go together. Or not. You can do it however you want. Okay. And PJ Party, I'm wearing flannels, you guys. Okay, it's still a little chilly in Cleveland, but I hear the weather's going to get warm. I stay in flannels until the frost stops in the morning or the dew. I look outside and, okay, it's still pretty chilly out. I can wear my flannels until it gets warm. Something about flannel pajamas, I just love them. Cozy. All right, how's your background coming? Again, and could you make it a rainbow? Make it a rainbow, you could do, of course. Think outside the box, think outside the box, get creative. Did your Alexa play? And if you don't have an Alexa, just put it on. Yourself. I don't have an Alexa. Could I put a little bit more yellow over there? Sure. I'll throw some yellow over there. Just this, just doing this is so relaxing for me. Just painting the background, not worrying about what it's going to look like or expecting it to be perfect. To me, just doing it, just the act of painting like this. This would be considered like an abstract painting because it's just a painting of color. But there's no subject matter on here yet. Now we're going to add a flower to it. But right now it's just like an abstract painting, again, which I love doing. A lot of people don't understand it. And, and that's okay. But just think about the process and how you're feeling right now. You feel better? All right. So there's my background. Could I put more blue on this side? Of course. Again, do whatever you want to. Somebody was asking me about paintbrushes and ordering supplies. Well, if you were going to do canvas, I would definitely order the panels, especially if you're going to make a lot of them because they're really thin, but they won't buckle. And then that way you can stack them, store them. Mine are, you know, that thick. I also like these, but a lot of my customers say, well, what am I going to do with 20 canvas? So you could do what my mother does. She changes them all the time. Like every month she changes her canvases that she has out. Just like decorating when you decorate for a holiday. So you just kind of store them away. And then when that season comes around, you just change your artwork. I change my artwork in the house all the time. All right. So while, I'm just going to give this a couple minutes to dry. Otherwise, you won't be able to see 
uh, the blow flower. So what I want to talk about. So, I, and again, I really do listen to you guys. So when I ask you, which one do you want to do? Which buddy do you like better? Do you want to add a class on a, on a weeknight or do you want to add a class on a Saturday? The majority, not everybody, but a lot of you voted for Saturday. So we are now, tomorrow will be the first adding a Saturday. We will be live Monday through Saturday at noon. Tomorrow is our first time. So tomorrow we are doing You Can to Can. You Can to Can. You Thank you. And You Can to Can. Tomorrow. I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to post it when we're done here. I will post tomorrow's event. Please you can get a notice for when we're going live. You can share it with your friends. You can do a watch party with your friends and family. Very, very fun. So, all right, I'm gonna now do my black. I'm gonna do, although if I do my black, it'll turn gray. Okay, let's, I just thought it would dry a little quicker, but that's okay. I'm gonna jump into my white. You know, we could do, we can, if I do my white right now on top of this, and it's wet, you're, it's going to turn the color of the background. You know what I could do? I could show you on this one. So this is another one. I was going to put another word on this one. But I'll just add another blow flower. So once this is dry in a couple minutes, I would just scoop up. So now I'm going to switch to my round paintbrush so it's pointy. And I would just do some white. And again, you can do, just like we practiced, those little lines like that. But I need a lot of them to make it look fuzzy. I have to turn it around. Painting upside down is a little challenging. Okay, so there, again, you could do it later. I know we're going fast because I really want to see you guys on the screen today. And then you could do the center, just black. You can make it a circle, or you can make it with those little prongs. And your stem, so your stem is a vertical line. And once that black dries, you can add little yellow dots in the center of it. And I'll do another one once this dries. I told you it was easy. Oh, let's do a word. So this one says wish in white. Uh, let's see. Let's do wonder. Today's our wonder day. W O N D E R. Wonder. And do one of those little like it just came off the blow flower. You could add little dots. You can also use the handle of your brush and dip it in the white paint and make little baby dots. Just a couple of ideas. I told you it was easy. So here's what I want you guys to do. Rachel, you can put the link on. I wanna see you guys today. I wanna to see more of you today. Don't be afraid. And if you've done it before and you wanna do it again, great. If you came on and you couldn't hear you, again, don't keep it on mute. Take it off of mute, turn your volume down, close your extra tabs, move away any extra extra electronic gadgets. Move away, you know, just keep the one that you're working on and then move everything else away. And hopefully it won't make too much noise. So uh, Rachel's gonna give you guys a link and then you click that. So I use a program called StreamYard. StreamYard is live through Facebook and YouTube, and you can watch it recorded. It's recorded on both my Facebook page, Artist at Heart Paint Party, under videos. It's also on YouTube, and 
there's a green room down below and I can see all you guys pop in. Six of you can come in at a time. So if you can't get in, you just have to keep trying. So right now it's pretty full. And hi. Hello, this is mine so far. That looks great. Again, you might want to wait. I'm, for doing, the I'm doing one for each member of my family. Very nice. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tyler. Hi, I'm Claire. We're from Toledo, Ohio. We have mine. They look great. Thank you. Very nice. Hey, Danny. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. We're at, uh, we just dropped off food at a food shelter, so we're in the car and he didn't want to miss your class. Well, that is very kind of you on both accounts. <laughs> That's my eyes work. Are you drawing the car? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye, Danny. Thank you. That's so kind to be helping out uh, with the food. And again, it's very sweet. Hi. Hi. This is mine so far. Ooh, that looks nice. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, so, so far this is what mine is. Um, and the first Artist in Heart Paint Party picture I did was on St. Patrick's Day. It was the tree. Well, if I could get it. <laughs> it's this one. Wow. I did. It's called the Rocked Tree. That's a whole story it. to it. Did you name one of the, Rachel, what was it? The koala bear you named? Um, I named as Flopsy Mopsy. Yes, that was the winner. Flopsy Mopsy. Thank you. Thank you. The bunny, Flopsy Mopsy. We love that name. Hi. Hi. Okay so far. That looks great. Thank, Thank you. Class. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is my background so far. Not quite done. And this is my favorite one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was quick. Hi. This Hi. is the start of my dandelion picture. I just put it a little rabbit in. And there's some dandelion. I love it. So you put your your bunny in with the dandelions. That's great. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is my art so far. That looks and great. From, thanks. And I'm from Poland, Ohio. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Hi! This is my favorite painting from Tropical Tuesday. And this is my background for my dandelions. Ooh, that's pretty. Very nice. Thank you. Thanks. Girls, you're on. Hi, guys. You're on. You're on this one. Hi. <laughs> that I'm gonna show you pictures. Hi. Very cool. Oh, that looks like a fun party. Mommy, look at mine. I know. I see it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hi. Hi. I'm not quite done with mine, but this is mine. That looks great. And I'm from Amherst, Illinois. I've been yeah. watching every um, week. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Sure. Mommy, make it this is mine. I know, I see it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. It's you now. I'm Eva from Ohio, and I've been doing it for hours, and here's my painting. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. Um, my name is Anna, and this Thanks is my watching. painting so far. <laughs> Hi! 
Was that dad? Um, I'm, I made three. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hi. Hi. This is my dandelion painting. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hi. 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 Oh, so cute. Does your koala have a name? No. <laughs> okay, that's your homework. Hi. That background is beautiful. We can't hear you. Thank you so much. Your background is beautiful. Oh, hi. Well, hi. This is mine. Oh, believe in, I can't see it. Believe in yourself. Oh, I love that. That looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. This is nice. Ooh, very nice. We're from Houston, Texas. Well, welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. This is mine. And this one's mine. This is mine. Fantastic. Oh. This is mine so far. Fabulous. Thank you for doing this. You are so welcome. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm from Virginia, and this is my dandelion so far. Love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to back in. I think it's dry now, or pretty close to being dry again. One of the things I love about uh, acrylic paint is it's pretty quick to dry. So I am going to, I'm going to just start with the black just to make sure. So I'm going to, there's no right or wrong. You can do it however you want. And I love, you guys are all doing your own thing. They're all different. You're thinking out of the box. Love that. So you give me inspiration. You give me uh, ideas. Okay, Rachel, take the banner off so they can see the bottom of my painting. Rachel is my niece and her and my, my sister Darcy are running. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to do three on this one, or you could do four. So just start with a vertical line, but it doesn't have to be in this order. If you start in a different way, that's fine. So vertical line, and then we could do the center. So think of a circle as the center, but then you can add those like little black prongs coming out. I don't know what they're called. We have to ask someone that's a plant specialist. So gotta make sure it's big enough for you guys to see it. Okay, so there, that kind of looks round. Hmm? I like to make them staggered so they're different heights if you want to make them all the same height. So again, this could be, you know, the mom and the baby or the mother and the father or the sister and the brother. But I like when they're different heights. You can make them straight across, again, however you want. Let's just do this one too. Okay, so I'm going to do vertical line because I have black on the brush. I might as well do it while I have the black on there. It's look, it's blowing in the wind. It's a little not perfectly straight. So what's gonna happen if I leave? So this now is wider than this part, so it looks weird. So this line should be thinner as it goes up, not thicker. So what I have to do to fix it is to make it thicker at the bottom so it doesn't look so weird. Now I can make this one thicker too, so it looks similar. And then I'll do one more. So we have three. Okay. 
and then the center. Again, you could do a, a circle. You could put those little prongs poking out. They're just little lines going around. And then you can do the white, wispy, fluffy, puffy stuff that makes you sneeze. It makes me sneeze. All right, so again, you could just go out, 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 out. Now, if I bump into my black, I'm gonna get gray. That's okay, I can fix it later. Make them as fluffy and puffy as you want. Oops, see I got black in that one. No one knows your mistakes but you and who you tell. So I just told you. But I kind of think it looks cool. So I'm just going to leave it. Let's do another one. I'm going to bring you guys back on. So Hi. Hi. This is my finished one. Back up just a little bit. Very nice. And I really like all these art classes. I really hope you keep doing them when things get normal also. Thank you. Thank and I'm from New York. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. That was nice. Hi. I just want to show you what I made yesterday. The bunny. Oh, that's so cute. Does your bunny have a name? Um, No, not yet. But I'll try to find okay. that one. It's a beautiful bunny. Um, I'll try to think of a name, but I think I'm going to name it Cutie. It is cute. It's a cutie. Thank you. Oh, that was sweet. So, you guys, you know, we're just doing this one day at a time. When I first started this three weeks ago, my plan was to do it for one week just to get you guys started, give you some ideas of things you could do at home, you know, on your own to think creatively. And here we are three weeks later, adding a Saturday, and I'm just going to do it until you go back to school, until things go back to normal. And what the plan is after that, I don't know. And, and we're just going to see what happens. So I promise I'll keep you updated as things evolve and change. But we are doing, again, Saturday. It's at noon, so we call it Lunch and Learn. And you go ahead. You, yeah. Um, I came on, but I added this. Stay healthy. I love that. That's nice. And I'm going to put it in my window when people like drive by and stuff. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Victoria. Um, this is my picture. Oh, that's pretty. And this is my favorite painting. It's the Tropical Tuesday. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi, girl. We have some flowers here for you. Oh my gosh, I can smell them. Wow, that's beautiful. Those look great. Nice. Thank you. And I love the flower in your hair. Thank you. And Thank she's you for the art lessons. lessons. She's actually wearing PJs today, too. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Love your art lessons. Thank you. I hope there's no bumblebees in those flowers. All right. So let me just finish my flowers. And again, if you guys want to come up, feel free. I'm going to go ahead, Rach. And I love the flower in your hair. Hello. You guys, if you want to come back on, turn your volume down. Okay, try to turn your volume down or shut your tabs if you have a lot of tabs open. Or if you have another electronic device, a phone near you, 
I think all those things contribute to the echoing or the delayed sound. So we could hear from the previous video. And again, don't forget, so those, this one looks like someone already blew half of it away. So the more lines you add, the fluffier it's going to look. So I'm just going to add some more on there. There you are. Hi. This is my painting. That looks great. Where are you from? And I'm from Martinsville, Illinois. Thanks for watching. I love it. Do you want to do a different one? Yeah, I'll show. Tomorrow's two can something, I think. It's a two can. That whole show You guys can come back on. I don't even know if they knew that they were on again. But you guys can come back on. Try to turn your volume down. Okay? This one needs more. You see that? See that? This one needs more. And I started telling you somebody was asking me about paintbrushes to buy. I would just not get the cheapest ones from the store because they're plastic and they don't absorb the paint. So when I when I buy paintbrushes, just go somewhere in the middle. You can get a paintbrush that costs an outrageous amount, or you can get a really, really cheap one that's plastic. But again, imagine you might as well paint with a straw because it's plastic. It does not absorb the paint. My paintbrushes absorb the paint so I can paint a little bit longer and it goes on smoother. And whatever comes in, like the Crayola watercolor tray, I love those paintbrushes. So if that's what you have, use those. Those are great. But when you buy one of those packs of really cheap paintbrushes, those are not good to use. I think they just waste your paint. Fingers are always fun to use, too. Oh, let's do the dots. Oh, you know what? I haven't done that. Let's do, I'm going to do a finger painting dot. So since the dots are little, I'll use my pinky. So I'll do dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Wherever you want to dot. Could they be inside the flower? Of course. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot. I told you this was an easy painting, you guys. You don't have to be done. You can put whatever you word you want on there and don't forget tomorrow. So it's your last call, last call to come on. If you want to come on again, tomorrow is two, you can, two can. So tomorrow's our first Saturday class. I'm super excited about it. And we're going to, and you can do this. If it looks hard, it's fine. We're going to practice the two can. We'll do a, a couple of different two cans. You can use whatever supplies you have at home. If you have oil pastels, one of my favorite supplies, but oil pastels are pretty messy. They get under your fingernail, uh, but I love oil pastels, oil pastels on construction paper, uh, construction paper crayons are beautiful. Uh, I'm going to paint mine. And this is what we're going to do tomorrow at noon. I hope you join me. Anybody else want to come on? I know it's a little bit delayed. So, uh, again, if you want to see the video from Ideas Stream that Dennis created, it's on the Facebook page. I'm, I don't know how to post it on YouTube, but I'll try to figure it out. Oh, Sammy's coming on today. Okay. Hi, Sammy. You can bring her on, Rach. Hi. Oh, oh hi. Um, these are my flowers so far. Oh, those look great. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. 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 We're very excited. Katie's been on ever since your first day of doing this. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for wearing that cool shirt. 
<laughs> yeah, we're doing some tie dye today. <laughs> oh, I love tie dye. So thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Great. Hi, Denise. Oh, wow. I'm Denise's friend, Eileen. We used to work together in Cleveland schools, and I'm loving just watching all the wonderful painters. Hi. And we also traveled together to Wyoming, and we took one of those Miami University classes oh, together. We explored the mountains, remember? Here's my flowers. I love it. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm another one of Denise's friends. I wanted to shout out to my students if anyone's watching today. I love the show today. Remember everyone to encourage each other through this difficult time. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> I love my friend, you guys. I'm not going to cry at the end of the show, but, you know, I have my friends still from first grade. And, uh, and again, my friends have only grown through the years. So I have friends from grade school, from high school, from college, and as an adult. And, and you know, I love my friends and I love my family. So I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, but they're, uh, you know, it's just touching to just know that they're watching and that they just jumped on. So it means the world to me. And again, I appreciate everyone's support and kind words. And I want you to pay it forward. Think outside the box. Give your artwork to someone. Hang it in a window. Share your knowledge with somebody else. You guys can always share, you know, on a device with your friends and family and mail it to somebody that you think would really love it. Enjoy the day. Create send me pictures, you can check in, you can tag me, you can email me at the website, however you want to get me, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys for You Can, To Can Saturday. Rachel, you want to end the broadcast? Thank you so much, you guys.